share with you five low-cost business ideas that you can begin today. If you're interested in this, please stay tuned. Welcome to Reinventing Perspectives. My name is Priscilla. And Reinventing Perspectives is all about helping you stay in faith, stay inspired, stay relevant, and stay encouraged. Well, let's dive into our five low-cost business ideas. I always say, you know, when you're thinking about side hustle, and I don't really like the word hustle just because it sounds, I don't know, it, to me, in a way, it, it implies that there isn't a lot of hard work to it, and there is a lot. Of, there is always hard work to doing anything. So I prefer to use the word passion projects. Why passion projects? Because I feel that if you do something that you already enjoy doing, you're more likely to continue when you hit a brick wall, and you will hit a brick wall whatever you decide to do. So I prefer, you know, to look at it not so much as a side hustle. It is a side hustle, but to think of it as a passion project. How to turn your passion into profit. I think that's always where we should begin. So how do you turn what you already enjoy doing into a business? Start scrappy. If that means start free, start free. Gain the confidence that you need and then begin to sell because you can make a profit without selling. One, idea number one, if you enjoy cooking, because I said this, the starting point is always something that you enjoy doing. So if you enjoy cooking, you have that one signature meal that you've perfected over time that every time you serve it to someone they go nuts this meal is amazing it's yum it's delicious you've confirmed that already every time you've made it and you've perfected the recipe take it to the market start there that's a passion project that you can begin as a business Get a stand and then prepare 50 meals. Start with 50 meals. If 50 meals is too many, start with 25 meals. And then go out there and sell those 25 meals of your perfected recipe. You know, be prepared for this because this is now, it's no longer you doing your cooking as a passion. It's you turning your cooking into a business. So you want to switch on your business mindset. You want to be professional. Have everything in an about ready to go state because you don't want people hanging around waiting for you to take your time cooking like you're home because you're not home anymore this is now business cooking this is now the chef that's making a profit so think about how you're going to market this this is probably if you take it to a local air market where people buy food there's already foot traffic coming in there people looking for food but they don't know you so you want to have free testers to give people so they test it and they get they taste your food and they get enticed to buy. Have free testers there. Have drinks to sell. Um, sell the way in which you experience the food. That's what you're doing. That's the marketing. If you enjoy this food, you know, it's traditional food, enjoy it with your hands or enjoy it this way, create that experience around your stand. You are never just selling a product, you're selling an experience. So sell an experience. This is idea number two. If you're into beauty, let's say you enjoy makeup and that's your hobby. When you have nothing else to do, all you do is makeup. Now think about how you can turn this into profit. So maybe you can become a makeup artist. And then you say to yourself, okay, I didn't have the credentials and you know all the things that make me a makeup artist. It's an issue of confidence because you don't need a certificate to make you a makeup artist. If you love makeup and you put your heart into it and you've been perfecting this over time, you're a makeup artist. Find a wedding. You know, people get married all the time and they're always weddings and people have budgets when it comes to weddings. And sometimes people get married, they don't have enough money. If you offer your free makeup service, already you have a client. You can begin to build your portfolio and you're gaining your confidence and you're getting People who, even though you gave them a free service, they're going to refer you to other people where you can sell. And you're building your confidence at the same time. Once you've got a couple of clients under your belt, people that you've done makeup for, you've gone through the process, you now know how to reach the client, what the client is going to expect, 
uh, how to present yourself professionally because you learn all these things from doing you don't learn them from thinking you actually have to go out there and start that's why we say start scrappy you can't imagine what you need to do you have to actually do the other thing is it's, it's always easier to sell something that you believe in and use you don't want to try and sell something that you don't even use yourself because then you know it becomes boring it becomes a task to sell and you don't even know what to say because you haven't used the product and you don't enjoy using the product for example I don't really use a lot of makeup selling makeup isn't my thing but to someone else who loves makeup and who uses it regularly they can tell you oh this lipstick is creamy you put it on it'll last eight hours it's, it's you're not lying to the client because you use the product the passion just comes through and one definition for marketing which I absolutely love I'll have to check who it is who says it they say marketing is when you transfer your own enthusiasm for the product or service to the customer that's what you always want to do that's why I say start with a passion project business idea number three if you enjoy writing then begin to write for profit write an ebook write a paperback book create an audio book again if you're not ready to write a full book and you already write in your spare time anyway find the pieces that you love start a Facebook group and put those pieces on the Facebook group let people enjoy them for free get their feedback let that be the process of understanding your reader and let that be the process where you learn what your message really is start a blog and keep at it because if you the thing about blogging is it's not gonna give you instant profit that's why you have to be passionate about it before you start because you know one thing about being a writer is you'll write anyway even if no one pays you so being in a blog and learning how to make your blog profitable that's a great business for someone who loves writing write when you feel like it and when you don't give yourself a schedule write when you're inspired and when you're not just keep writing you know you know that statement that says to become an expert at something you have to put in 10,000 hours always ask yourself where am I on the journey of 10,000 hours bring that mindset to your passion project that's why you need to get started get started today because 10,000 hours is a whole lot of hours so you can afford to keep wasting time waiting to be perfect perfection is the enemy of progress Perfection is the enemy of starting, start scrappy, start getting those hours under your belt and improving yourself and improving your business. Business idea number four, if you love fashion and that's your thing, rather than spending your own money to look fashionable, why don't you begin to buy clothes and sell other people's fashionable items so you're doing it for profit. Start a fashion business. If you're great at putting pieces together, begin to work as a stylist how are you gonna get your first clients you may have to style people for free so that you get a portfolio and also you get a confidence because when you work and you put on your business hat and you're no longer just dressing yourself up you're styling someone as a professional person you're gonna learn a lot of things and that's how you'll begin to understand okay how do I make this profitable Maybe you style someone and while you're doing that, you sell them the earrings. You know, you don't have a lot of money. Start by selling them the smallest pieces. You style someone and you sell them the belt. You're already starting and you build from there. Don't despise small beginnings. Everything that you see that's big started off small. So be okay with starting small. Make all the mistakes you want to make when you're small because you don't want to be making those mistakes when you're big. Start small and make learn a lot of lessons while you're still small. And that's how you build a really great business. Dear number five, if you love music, then figure out how you can get your music to people. Now, I think nowadays you can be on Spotify and I think it's free to upload your music there, on Apple, on YouTube, and you can actually get people to listen to your music. Then maybe you're thinking, okay, I don't have the money to, you know, get studio time, to get a producer, to get a songwriter. Begin with covers. Covers of songs that are popular. Do it a cappella. 
you don't need any instruments, you don't need anyone playing, but you get to express yourself musically and you get people's feedback. People get to know about you. And as you begin to do things and more people get to know about you, because attention is where you get the money. Begin to think to yourself, okay, how can I do things that are profitable? Maybe I can write a jingle for the small business down the way and sing an a cappella for them and see if they're willing to pay me to get this jingle be part of their branding. Be creative, you know, go for the low hanging fruit. Just start with what you have. Start scrappy, no more excuses, just begin. Just touched on five different interests that I think are really common. Um, if you enjoyed this, do let me know. Like, subscribe, let me know what interest you have so that when I make another video about maybe how you can start scrappy, start low cost, and just get started on your side hustle, on your passion project, let me know what your interests are. Thank you again for listening, thank you for watching, and have a great day.